This is a packing seal repair video for the General Pump Model MK and LK series. Before starting, you will need the packing support unit part number F27516600. The tools needed for this repair is an impact wrench, a 3 inch diameter by 12 inch long 1 8 inch thick PVC pipe, two support handles, two support pins, a pick, a 5 millimeter hex drive, a 14 millimeter hex drive, a 17 millimeter socket, a 3 8 inch ratchet, a round head tool, a soft rubber mallet, a torque wrench, packing lubricant, and a packing support pusher tool. Use the impact wrench with a 14 millimeter hex attached to loosen and remove the two outside bolts on the top row of the manifold. Insert and thread two support pins in place of the two bolts that were just removed. Use the impact wrench to loosen the remaining bolts in the order demonstrated. This will help ensure a straight and proper removal of the manifold. Remove the bolts. At General Pump, we believe in safety first. We highly recommend that you have someone assist you in removing the approximately 150 pound manifold. Thread the handles on each side of the manifold. Again, with assistance, remove the manifold. Remove the support pins. Use the 3 8 inch ratchet with a 17 millimeter socket attached to loosen and remove the plunger bolt. Use the impact wrench with a 5 millimeter hex attached to loosen the four bolts from the top cover. After all bolts are loosened, remove the cover. From the top of the pump, install the packer pusher tool into the piston guide. Manually rotate the crankshaft. Unthread and remove the pusher tool handle. Manually rotate the crankshaft. This will push the piston guide out along with the pusher tool and the packing retainer. Be sure to respect the o-ring position at the rear of the cylinder. Use a pick to remove the o-ring from the packing retainer. Separate the packing retainer from the support. Remove the restop ring, the high pressure seal, and the brass head ring. Use a round tip tool to remove the low pressure seal from the support. Inspect all components for wear and damage and replace as necessary. Inspect the retainer for wear and pitting, replacing it if necessary. Remove and inspect the O-ring from the packing retainer and replace it if necessary. Apply packing lubricant to the low pressure seal. This allows for easier installation of the components into the retainer.
install the brass head ring, the high pressure seal, and the restop. Insert the support into the packing retainer. Be sure the support is properly seated. Reinstall the packing retainer O-ring. Inspect the entire plunger surface for scoring, pitting, or damage, and replace if necessary. Install the packing support O-ring into the corner of the crankcase. Use packing lubricant to help keep the O-ring in place. Install the plunger and thread the plunger bolt onto the guide. Torque to the proper specs found in the repair manual. Apply packing lubricant to the inside seal surface. This allows the packing retainer stack to more easily slide over the plunger. Use the soft rubber mallet to lightly tap the stack properly into position. Use the PVC pipe and insert the packing retainer over the plunger. Be sure to respect the crossover seal and the packing retainer space seal. Thread the manifold support pins into the outer two top row threads of the crankcase. Again, for your safety, General Pump highly recommends that you have someone assist you to lift the approximately 150 pound manifold back into position. Replace the upper crankcase cover. And tighten the four bolts using a five millimeter hex drive. Slowly push the manifold into position. Be sure to hold it for continued support. Insert a bolt into the second thread from the right in the top row, and another bolt into the second thread from the left on the bottom row. Alternate tightening these two bolts to ensure proper seating of the manifold.
Remove the two support pins. Insert and thread the remaining six bolts. Tighten them to a snug fit with the 3 8 inch ratchet with a 14 millimeter hex attached in the order demonstrated. This will help ensure a proper and tight fit. Use the torque wrench and tighten to the proper specs. Finally, remove the two support handles.